Hello my dear children of 10th standard. In this video we are going to start a chapter from your first flight. The name of the chapter is chapter number 8, Majbil the Otter, written by Gavin Maxwell. Now in this story Gavin Maxwell, he is writing his story. So Gavin Maxwell lived in a cottage in Chemisferna in the West Highlands in Scotland. When Maxwell's dog Johnny died, he became very sad because life without a pet was quite lonely. When he visited southern Iraq in 1959, he saw some people, some Arab people having otters as pets. Now otters is a river animals with brown fur for his skin brown color that eats animals so he saw Arab people having otters now he also thought of having an otter he named the otter Mijbil in the beginning Mijbil was indifferent but he became quite intimate quite friendly with the narrator he faced a problem to transport the otter from Basra where he had gone to England. Now Mijbil was packed in a box and Mijbil disappeared in the aeroplane when the box was opened and the air hostess helped him to ha find out Mijbil. Now when he, he reached in, in England that is in London so in London Mijbil remained a mystery for most of the people. They could not recognize an otter. Some called Mijbil a sill. Sill is an animal. And some called him a squirrel. Others called him a beaver and a bear cub. But the question came from a laborer. And what was that question? So the question was, what is that supposed to be? He asked. So now I'll introduce you from the author that is Gavin Maxwell. So Gavin Maxwell took birth on 15th July 1914 and died on 7th September 1969. Was a Scottish naturalist. He is best known for his work with otters. Maxwell was born and brought up in a small village near Port William in Scotland. And in the end, he, dies, he died due to cancer in 1969. Now, let us begin the chapter. Maxwell, the otter. Again, otter means a river animal with brown fur. With brown soft skin that eats animals. And that stays in water. They like water. So it was 1956 when narrator travelled to Iraq. Southern Iraq. After the death of his pet dog he wanted to have a new pet. But this time he decided to keep an otter instead of a dog. A friend advised him to get an otter in the Tigris marshes. Tigris is the name of the river. So a friend advised him to, to get an otter in the Tigris marshes. Marshes means an area surrounded by the river. So they were found in large numbers there. Who otter so and they were often tamed means domesticate and kept by Arabs. Now they went to Basra to collect their mail, but the author's mail had to uh, had not arrived. When his mail finally arrived, he went to his room and found two Arabs there. They had brought an otter for him. Now he was coated 
with pointed scale. Between the scales was visible a soft velvet fur and soft skin. Now the narrator managed to remove the mud because completely otters was full of mud. So the narrator managed to, com to remove the mud completely and only after a month now the otter could be seen in his true colors. The pet was named Midgeville. It was Christine. Christine means named by zoologist Lutrogil perspicillata maxwelli or we can say Maxwell's otter. So now for the first 24 hours Midgeville was quite indifferent. He chose to sleep on the floor as far from the narrator's bed as possible. On the second night, Mijbil remained asleep in the crook of his knees. In the crook of author's knees. Crook means backside area of the knees. Now Mijbil started taking a keen interest in his surroundings. The narrator made a body belt for the author. Now in the bathroom, Mijbil went wild with joy in the water. He started plunging and rolling in the water tub. He started playing as soon as he saw the water. Now he made enough slosh and splash for a hippo in water. Now hippo means hippopotamus. They lived in water. So here poet is comparing otters, uh, his otter with hippo. Now it is the nature of every otter to splash and spread water until it overflows. Means to play with water, to overflow the water. Now two days later, the narrator found Midgeville standing up on the end of the bathtub. And he was fumbling, he was trying at the tap to turn it on. He managed to achieve the full flow of the tap. Now Mijbil followed this, his master and his name was called, whenever his name was called. So he used to follow his master, that is author. He spent most of his time in playing. He spent hours shuffling a rubber ball like a soccer player. But his real play started when he lay on his back and juggled means shift with small objects between his paws. So he used to play and he used to shift the objects between his paws. Now marbles also. Marbles were Mijbil's favorite toys for his pastime. Now Midge was to be transported to England from Basra. And there what happened? Now the author feared how he would fly with Midgeville Bill to England as the British airline would not allow animals. Finally, he booked a flight to Paris and from there to London. Now Midge Bill had a had to travel in a box. So, author just author put Midgeville into not more than 18 inches square box. Now in the process, okay, he tried Midge, uh, author's uh, author tried to cut himself. How? So Midgeville was not used to that, used to box and tried to get out of tearing the inner lining. In the process, he had cut himself badly and was covered with blood. Now the author had to take him on the flight in that very way. He took air hostess in his confidence and 
she advised him to keep mijbil on his knee soon now inside the flight what happened soon mijbil disappeared from his box and created a commotion in the plane as people thought it was a rat yes a woman stood up crying a rat a rat the narrator saw mijbil's tail beneath the legs of a portly white turban indian portly means fat white turban indian he dived for mij and he found his face covered in curry so the air hostess asked him to resume his seat she would find and bring mij to him suddenly mij will bounded onto maxwell's knee and began to nudgel his face and his neck so this what happened inside the flight now mijbil and the narrator remained in london for nearly a month he would play for hours with toys ping pong balls marbles rubber fruit etc outside the house the narrator exercised him on a lead as if he had been a dog now mijbil quickly developed certain compulsive habits during his walks in the london streets he would behave like school children who would touch every seventh up, upright of the iron railings or every second lamp post so he used to touch everything pole like a children now on his way home mijbil would jump on the school wall taking away the attention of students as well as the teachers now it was not an easy job for the average londoner to recognize an author but the wild guesses that the people made about mijbil surprised the narrator some of them called mijbil a baby seal a squirrel a beaver while others called him a bear cub and a leopard but the question for which the narrator awarded the highest score came from a laborer when he saw otter he asked he asked otter that what is that supposed to be and this was the best reaction because everyone was guessing and this fellow this laborer what he did very loudly he asked the narrator about the author and what question he asked what is that supposed to be so this was the summary of the chapter mijbil the author written by gavin maxwell thank you